Hey guys, so I decided to do a couple more videos tonight so then I can have more uploaded. So this video I am here to talk to you guys today is about Kitten's Playpen. Now you may say, what is Kitten Playpen? It sounds cute, it sounds adorable, or, or it might sound like that's really weird, really kind of creepy sounding to you. Just depends upon how you look at it in your perspective. So Kitten Playpen, they have Kitten's Playpen, Puppy's Playpen, Woof's Playpen, uh, any animal you can think of. So I'm currently into a uh, kitten slash wolf playpen because I have right here, if you look, if you look at them, I have these ears that I bought, but they're more of like a wolf ear and stuff. But then I have this panther tail, black panther, right? So it's like a cat tail but also the wolf ears so it's like if I want to go as a cat I can wear my tail one day if I want to go as a wolf which I will go majority of the day majority of the time then I wear my ears but this is cat okay so the ears cost about eight dollars on Amazon and the tail which was including shipping was eight dollars and I love this because it is so so soft to wear so you may ask what is kitten play or just in general, playpen. So it is, uh, it could be sexual or non-sexual, depending upon how you want to do it. So your boyfriend or your girlfriend, so you're just like, hey babe, um, I have something I need to tell you, All right? And you're, you're like, it's really hard for me to tell you because I don't know if you're going to accept me. And so like, they'll ask you, oh, just tell me or what is it? And you'll be like, well, I'm into this thing called kitten's playpen, puppy's playpen, or whatever you're into, you would say. And you'd be like, um, I know this might sound really weird for you, but I trust you that you will accept me for this. And I would like for you to collar me, put a collar on me that we pick out together, and you can be my master slash owner, or however you want to prefer them as. Currently, you can tell I'm not collared, so I, what they call is if you're not collared, if you don't have a collar, dog collar, cat collar, wolf collar, whatever kind of collar you want to call it, you are a stray. You're a stray animal. Until you get that boyfriend or that girlfriend who claims you as their pet, you are a stray. You know, and at first I thought this was really strange, really weird, but then I googled it more into it. I had a friend from another state who was into this. She's more into the puppy playpen now. And she had all these cat ears, dog ears, wolf ears, tails, and stuff, and I just loved it. And when I saw on Amazon that these were so much cheaper than like the kittensplaypen.com and like stuff like that. So for all this, plus I'm getting a, just a regular random collar and stuff, so when I do get um claimed i can wear it a lot more and stuff was like 60 dollars for all of it when if you go onto the kittens like website to get ear just ears alone is 70 dollars so i got three items for 10 dollars less than buying one item and stuff so here's another thing too if you have told your boyfriend your girlfriend and they do accept you here's what you do you set a contract of what you can and can't do and you should always have a safe word like pineapple, pizza, taco, bubbles, burger, some kind of safe word for it when you're either in public or in private and they do something and they take it too far, especially when you're in public. If they end up taking it a little too far, they can end up being like pineapple and then your partner will know that it's that you need to stop because it's going past your boundaries but nobody else will know that you're talking about that specific thing your partner is doing and I just say that when you first go out and like wear your kit kitten ears cat ears whatever ears you're wearing or your tail and your friends say why are you wearing them if you're not comfortable saying well I'm into kitten play you know it could be sexual non-sexual depending upon how you want it to be you could just say I'm trying a new thing out where I wear a different thing maybe I won't like it maybe I will maybe it's just a trial to see where you are at this point be careful who you're telling as a friend and stuff and I would I would start off if you're if you don't have a boyfriend or you don't have a girlfriend start off with telling your best friend see how they react then go to your other friends, and then once you realize my friends love this, you find that one friend who is like, I love what you're doing, this is so cool. 
then it's easier to break it to your family. Like with me, I haven't really told my dad about about a whole thing yet. I told him about the cosplay part. But once I move into the grandma, I'm going to tell him. I'm into this thing called Kitten's Playpen. This is what it is. This is, it could be sexual, non-sexual, blah, blah, blah. But as of right now, I am a stray wolf. I am not owned. I don't have a master. But I'm hoping to get a master soon. And I'm hoping the next girl or boy that I date will accept me for who I am and will collar me. And so, well, here's my message for you guys. If you guys need to know more about Kitten's Playpen or the Playpen Realm, you guys can Google it on YouTube. And you guys can find people who have bought things from stores that are like actual kitten play gear. And there's like reviews on it. People can tell you what it is. People can tell you about them being in it. There's ones about where they ask the partner, like the boy and the girl, the questions about being in Kitten's Playpen. Oh, it not, but yeah, I think this is all that I have for you guys. Well, this is Reborn Mommy slash Woofy signing off.